M is the midpoint of AB. Find the coordinates of B if A is at 1, 3 and M is at 4, minus 2. So we've been given the end point A and we've been given the midpoint M and we need to find the other end point which is going to be exactly the same distance away. So I'm going to do this using a formula and I'll show you another approach in a different, different video. So let's write down what we know. We have A at 1, 3. We have M, which is the midpoint, at 4, minus 2. And then we've got a point B that we don't know. And if you think about the formula, the formula says if you have A, point A at x1, y1, and point B, which is at x2, y2, then the midpoint is x1 plus x2 over 2, y1 plus y2 over 2. So if we take our a, we'll call that point 1, which means this is x1, y1. We take point b, we're going to call that x2, y2. So our m, this number here, 4, is going to be x1 plus x2 over 2, that's the 4. So we can write an equation for that, <coughs> which is 4 equals uh, x1 is 1, 1 plus x2 is what we need to find over 2. Now we need to solve for x2. So multiply both sides by 2, get that 2 up there, so that will be 2 times 4 equals 1 plus x2, 2 times 4 is 8, 8 equals 1 plus x2, then we just need to subtract 1, so 7 equals x2. We do exactly the same thing for the y2, so this minus 2 here, if you look at the formula, that is y1 plus y2 over 2, y1 plus y2 over 2, so looking at the y's, we've been told that the, the midpoint is minus 2. So minus 2 must equal y1, 3, plus y2, unknown, we need to find it, over 2. Exactly the same as the last one, multiply through by 2. So t minus 2 times 2 equals 3 plus y2, minus 4 equals 3 plus y2. Uh, subtract the 3 from both sides, so minus 4 minus 3 equals y2, so that must be minus 7 equals y2. So all of that tells us that um, point B is at 7 minus 7.